Hey everybody, it's Charmelle. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a get ready with me. I went and purchased me some new makeup products. So I just wanted to test them out. This kind of like a first impressions type of video. And yeah, here is my final look. I hope you all enjoy this video. I don't want to make this intro too long. So let's get to it. So before we get into that, I don't know if you guys know, but I do offer merch. This is one of my new items from my merch store. It says crown me at the bottom of all of my description box it says snatched and highly favored and then it has my favorite bible scripture which is proverbs 31 and 25 she's clothed with strength and dignity she can laugh at the days to come and so that's just kind of like my own personal theme so i did put out a new t-shirt which is the crown me kind of in theme with the snatched and highly favored and on the back of the crown me t-shirt it actually has the definition of crown which is a verb it means to honor or reward or to invest with honor and dignity in xyz so if you're interested in purchasing a t-shirt under all of my videos it should pop up at the bottom um so yeah go check it out I also have other snatched and highly favored t-shirt designs and sweatshirts and I also have um, phone cases so again I appreciate all the support um, if you do decide to go and support okay let's get into this video I actually already did my brows off camera and um, yeah I'm gonna start by priming my face I'm going to be using the NARS pore and um, shine primer I use this all the time So for foundation, I'm going to be trying the new Fenty Beauty Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I picked it up in the color 445. Honestly, I had a hard time picking out a color. I have concealers from Fenty, but this is my first foundation. Um, and you guys know her foundations are very popular for having a full range of colors. And they also have uh, colors with different undertones. So... You know that's a plus but it's also kind of hard to really find your match so hopefully this works out now this is a hydrating um foundation so it's supposed to be more so for normal to let me actually do it so it's supposed to be more so for like um normal to dry skin which is actually my skin type um, you wouldn't really notice that I have normal to dry skin because, oh, the color looks cool, because um, I normally wear a heavy moisturizer to kind of combat the dryness. So if you ever see me and I look really shiny or greasy, it's because I wear a really thick con uh, moisturizer because I have dry skin. I'm just taking a damp body beauty blender and I'm going to start patting that in. It's a little, I don't want to say dark. I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. I can't remember which undertone this had. Because it took me a minute to find my color. So far, I actually really like it. I think the color match is almost perfect. It's a little, I don't know if it's too dark or too red. It's a little too something. But I'm hoping that once I add like, my concealer and stuff it'll blend out but yeah i think this is a good color match i'm going to be using the pro filler i uh, found concealer and this is in the color 385 and then i'm going to take a smaller sponge for my concealer So far, I'm really liking this foundation. Like I said, I don't normally go for dewy foundations, but my skin is looking like butter. To set my face, I'm also gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filler Loose Powder in the color Honey.
So I'm just gonna bake while I do my eyes. So for my eyes, I'm going to be using the new Anastasia um, Beverly Hill and Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette collab. So far the packaging is super pretty. It has like snake skin and it's iridescent. So I think I'm gonna stick with like a semi-neutral look. So I'm gonna start with the color Ginger which is like a tan color and I'm just going to put that in my crease as my trans transition color. There's a little fallout but I feel like a lot of the palettes are like that. It actually has quite a bit of fallout, um, but it's pretty pigmented so you don't really need to like swirl your brush in it too much. But next I'm going to go into edges, which is like a burnt orange. And I'm just going to put that into my crease. Ooh. But I actually haven't watched any reviews on the uh, Fenty, the new Fenty foundation or the Jagiana palette just because, um, well in general I haven't um, been watching like makeup reviews that much lately anyways because, you know, at the end of the day everyone has their own makeup preference and how they like to wear their makeup, how they like their makeup to look. Everyone has different skin types so what works for one person may not work for you and I feel like it's so easy to form like a biased opinion on a product before you actually give it a real try um, if you watch too many videos so lately I haven't been watching a lot of makeup videos and if I want to try something I'll just try it on my own faith and see how it works for me I don't want a too dramatic look today so I think I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to apply Zam Zam on my eyelids. So it's kind of like a rose gold shimmery color. I'm just going to use a flat brush. Let's see. Mm. I'm using my finger. What's pretty, y'all? Um, so when I tried to apply this with the brush at first, it didn't pick up too much of the product. So I'm just using my finger to do it. And, um, yeah, this eyeshadow is really kind of creamy to touch. And it applies really well with my finger. I'm going to go back in with edges and just kind of make sure that's blended out. So this is what we're working with so far. I want my look to be kind of effortless, so... So yeah, I'm going into trust issues. I'm just going to put that in my inner corners. While I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry, I'm just going to start working on the rest of my face. So I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish to set the rest of my face. And I use the color Deep Dark. I'm also going to use um, this, this powder to kind of dust away like my under eye powder and stuff. And now to bronze slash contour, I'm going to be using this ColourPop um, pressed face powder bronzer in the color Bits and Pieces. And then for blush, I'm going to use my Milani um, Coral Cove. Then for highlighter, 
I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I'm going to use the color Amber Gold, which is this one. And these are the um, Kiss Demi Wispy Lashes. Yeah, so I normally buy them in like the dual pack. These are the only lashes I've been wearing lately. I set my face using the Urban Decay All Night All Nighter Spray. And then I'm at some bottom mascara, do my hair, fix this lash, and then I'll come back and do my lips. And y'all see the final look. Alright, so I got my hair on. This lash is still irritating me, but we're gonna ignore that. So we're gonna move on to lips. I'm gonna use a dark brown lip pencil. This is like my go-to pencil. It's like a 99 cent pencil. Next, I'm gonna take this um, MAC Metro Retro Matte uh liquid lip color and this is in the color mademoiselle and then like i'm going to take my color pop so juicy lip gloss in the color intersection and, right. and this is the final look so far i really like the foundation and i also really love the eyeshadow palette the color match is perfect let me know if you guys have tried a uh, both the Fenty Foundation and the Jackiana Collab Eyeshadow Palette. If you have, let me know what you think down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your bell notifications. Again, also check out my merch if you're interested in supporting. And thank you all, and I'll see you next time.